Hey guys, welcome back to this GrandMA3 tutorial series. In the last video, we talked about creating and storing presets. If you missed it, you can click on the link in the upper right corner or in the description below. When storing presets, there are three different preset modes that will depict what fixtures will react when a preset is called. If you look at the top right corner of each preset, you'll see one of three letters. The red S is for the selective preset mode, which stores data for only fixtures selected when storing. The amber G is for the global preset mode, which stores data for fixtures of the same type, regardless of if they were part of the selection when storing. The white U is for the universal preset mode, which stores data that can apply to all fixtures with the same attributes, regardless of fixture type and selection when storing. We can also see that there is a preset mode indicator in the pool title fields. This represents what a new preset will be stored as by default for each preset type if auto is the selected preset mode in the store menu, which we'll get to in just a minute. You can change the default preset mode for each preset type by clicking on the top half of the pool title field, and then in the pool settings window, click on the preset mode button to select your preferred preset mode. One quick note to make is that even if you intend to store a preset with the global or universal preset mode, if there is unique data that only pertains to a portion of the selected fixtures, then selective data will be stored for those fixtures with the unique data, and global or universal data will be stored for all other fixtures that share the same data. This will be indicated in the top right corner as either GS or US, depending on the store mode for the other fixtures. Let's say we want to force some new presets to be stored as a different preset mode than what is selected in the preset pool menu. This is when we would want to change the store settings. To change the preset mode in the store settings, we can press and hold the store button in the command section. In the top right corner of the store settings menu, we can see the preset mode selection. The auto preset mode that is currently shown allows the preset store mode to be determined by the preset pool type. To change the preset mode, we can either left click through the preset mode options or right click for the list of preset modes. In this list, we can see a new preset mode called force global. This preset mode acts similarly to the global preset mode, except that it will remove selective data in an existing preset for any fixtures of the same type when new information is merged using the force global preset mode. To access the preset mode when merging data over existing presets, we can change the store settings like I just explained, or we can use the store button in the swipey feature. Let's see how merging with force global works. I have this spot orange preset that was stored as a selective preset with only some of the spot fixtures as part of the selection. I want all of my spot fixtures to react the same when this preset is called, so I want to change this to a global preset. To do so, while the preset is already active, I'm going to click on the preset and drag the cursor down to access the swipey buttons. I'll click on store, and now I'm prompted with the store options. Here we can see the preset mode list, just like the store settings window. I'm going to right click and select force global. When I press merge, the selected data will be removed and replaced with global data. If we clear our selection, double click on the spot orange preset and the full dimmer preset, we now see that all spot fixtures go to orange. The reason you would want to use force global and then merge rather than global and then overwrite is because if there are other fixture types stored in the selective preset, you don't want to accidentally remove their data if you meant for them to be stored that way. Force global and then merge is a precautionary measure to ensure only the fixture types you wish to change from having selective data to having global data does not affect other fixture types within the same preset. Like every other time after making changes, let's clear our selection and then always remember to save our show file.